Fight boss bitch, you know, for sure. You're now listening to the mind of an Terry's Moon. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And right now, I'm going to tell you, all Christians are going to hell. All Christians are going to hell. Now, Based upon your concepts of it, it's retarded. Now, let's do this. Let's let's start this off off the bat. You need to understand it's just it's impossible to be consciously aware of being unconscious. And we know that just by people on earth. Think about everybody who was on earth who got knocked the fuck out unconscious. Did they remember them being unconscious? No. You had to tell them they ass was knocked the fuck out. So it's impossible to be consciously aware of being unconscious. So your con your concept of internal life after death is wrong. Wrong. Now, here's what's really going on. When you in such a bliss and happiness, you created a heaven for yourself in the existence you're in. When you go through a lot of turbulence and things of that nature. You're experiencing a hell in a vessel you in. Now, we need to take this and get a little bit more higher dense so you can start understanding what's going on. Now, what you're doing now, you always been doing that. So, in, in every vessel, right? And you're only going to go into vessels that your frequency vibrating in, right? So, if you are a Christian now, right? Then you are experiencing hell right now. And the Bible and every story in the Bible is teaching you how to conduct yourself in hell. I don't I don't care if it's if it's Noah's ark when when God told him to go get all the animals and build a boat. That was hell. I don't give a fuck when um when Eve had to do this down the third. That was hell. When Moses had to do this down the third. That was hell. You know what I'm saying? All these circumstances and situations is hell. When Cain or Abel got kicked out and had to do whatever they had to do was hell. Every story in the Bible is teaching you circumstances of hell. So what do that mean, right? Listen Let's go to how they describe hell. You're going to burn eternity and you're going to burn for eternity under fire and brimstone, right? Now, you up under a sun, right? So look, you inhabit a vessel, right? Now, say you're a Christian. Think about everything you do. There's always friction. There's always rules and laws you got to abide by. I mean, so many that Christians pick and choose what they want to abide by out the Bible and make excuses for the things they don't want to go by in the Bible, right? So, you, look, you're doing all these things, right? And a Christian or a preacher would be like, man, this is hard work. It's hard work not to sin. It's hard. It's just that and a third. Or, or you're burning. That's what burning is. It ain't, it ain't your concept of your soul being in a pool of fire. It's the concept of you keep coming into vessels. And experiencing it. Now the only reason now the only reason Christians is the only people who are gonna experience hell because they're the only ones who's creating this imagination. Now look, check this out. Take yourself out of religion, right? How are you gonna see something or understand something or realize something if you ain't seen it yourself? Somebody have to come explain something to you, right? Or if you was never in that country to see how that street pole looked, you would never know how that street pole looked. Because you you ain't in that country, right? Right. So, for I don't care if somebody in that country described that street pole to you or not. You're not going to get a clear visualization, nor you might not even care. So, you might not ever see it. If it ain't something in that country that's drawing you to go visit that country in some type of way, you're never going to see that street pole. So, for an example, Christian, Christians are the only ones preaching that hell shit. They're the only ones out here telling you how it look and telling you the shit of it, right? And think about it. All the fear that they putting into it, all the fear that they opposing others, all the emotions and feelings that they putting into it is creating it. But the only people who are going to experience that creation is you because y'all are the only ones who's giving it details. So here's what's happening. When you're dying, you are you are being in hell for forever because you do live forever. Just not just not how you think about it. When you transform out of this vessel, you go into another vessel and experience the same shit. So if you've been so what you're doing now is what you've always been doing, and you've been heavily experienced in it. So if you're a Christian now and you've been kicking all this fear and hell and, and this that this that and the third onto others, then your ass is in hell right now, and your ass is trying to preach to other people how to continue to be in hell, or but you think it's telling people how to get out of hell. 
Christians, really look at your Bible. R really take yourself out of the situation and really look at it. And, and, and look at it from this concept. Because you keep, you, the, the hell you creating, every time you come back in another vessel, you keep experiencing that. You keep you keep experiencing, uh, you, you need to give your power to something else. You keep experiencing, oh, uh, uh, we need to do this. We need to do that. You keep experiencing, oh, we got to be in church. You keep you keep experiencing all this fire. You see what I'm saying? All this burning. All this heat to the point that it takes a passionate person to even inspire you. It takes a person with a lot of fire energy to just, to, to just spark you and be like, oh, I'm in the spirit. You see what I'm saying? You 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 see how much you you lack in the natural resources and you and you putting and you putting that responsibility onto things that just have that resource. You're not tapping into that the natural resources. Now what's happening is you keep coming back with this same problem. And you're not willing to learn because you keep coming back and kicking the same shit. This is why you in hell. You keep preaching the gospel. You keep preaching people to come together under that theology. You keep making it's and it's all hell. The whole Bible is hell. Babel. The land of Babel. Blah. You see what I'm saying? Every story from the Genesis to the Revelation is stories about being in hell. And then they made you think that that's not hell. They make you think that's that's where you're going. Where you went there the moment you start paying attention to it. Do you understand? The Bible teach you how to be trained and love your government. And they make you think the laws of the land is the laws of the laws. It's all laws. And then they make you think that all law is a person. They make you think all of the laws is one person. They fucking y'all up, man. They really fucking y'all up. And you keep creating and manifesting and keep coming back into this hell. And you're the only one experiencing it because you're the only one a Christian. So you might be an old Christian right now sitting back thinking like, well, my Christian theology is about giving. Like, do y'all know about like people like the Bible thumping wing nut and people like Matt Slick? And then you got a bunch of other people and shit, too. And like, I know about everything on the Internet. I'm on everything. Right. I, I, I don't care how famous I get. I'm always going to bring myself back on the ground. Because I know what it is. And I know what's the first mechanisms of the first creations of, of manipulation and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like Matt Slick, he, he real smart but dumb. How can you be that smart and still believe what you believe? So now you leave me no choice to think that you got an agenda now. Because the, the only way I can truly believe you're dumb is if, if you truly believe what you're saying. But you be saying a lot of smart shit though. So it, if you say some smart shit in a dumb realm of reality, you must be using that for something or you must be too scared to break out of something or you must be just going through a lot of shit in your life. And it's going to play out through your physical life. And you probably being severely sick. You're going to be around a lot of people sick. You're going to be a, you're going to be around a lot of people who start opposing your theologies. You may even have family members who do certain things that oppose your true nature of shit because you're in that frequency vibration. See, now you're talking to Archangel Uriel now. I can help you on a real spirit level. All these lower realms of realities and religions you're, you're into is, is causing illnesses in your life that I may not personally know that you have, but I can guarantee you got it. Because from an Archangel Uriel, I'm looking at you from a frequency vibration perspective. And once your conscious high enough, is high enough and you actually, actually been in the energy of a real presence, of a real God presence, then you're able to come back down in realms of realities and really speak and see some things. You see what I'm saying? So I will, I'm able to see more than what your religion allows you to see. So for you to argue with me about your theologies and wordings and you using the sun, S-O-N, and it's, and it's used S U N. That's all English language. That ain't got nothing to do with the frequency vibration. And until you rise high enough and see some true energies, that's when you will understand that. And I see by you preaching and kicking the way you kicking stuff, you haven't been there. You don't got the spirit. You don't got it yet. You don't got it. I don't care what kind of ideas and thoughts. You'll probably tell somebody that you're not supposed to dive into the emotions and feelings that much. Shit, 75% of the world is built off dark matter. That is emotions and feelings. So you trying to be a soulless preacher? 
That is the vibration. Emotions and feelings. That is your soul. And to tell everybody they need to get logical and, 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 and don't mix emotions in with it, that's half of the battle. That's unbalanced. So you got half of the story. You ain't spiritually inclined, dog. Period. And I, I hate to even bring myself down to even get at preachers. You know what I'm saying? Because preachers ain't nothing. Preachers is just preaching the illusion up under whatever spiritual roof and light they're up under. This is why you got preachers for every religion. You see what I'm saying? And, 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 it's, not, and it's not even about that. Stop creating hell. I'm Archangel Uriel. Stop putting people in hell. Y'all in hell now. The moment you up and preaching and there's a hundred people in y'all seats that y'all preaching up under and preaching all these rules and allegories and things to do, it's hell. That is hell. That's the concept of hell. Any type of any type of time you want to break down any kind of real concept of hell, it's going to play out as a story in the book. And then y'all mixing it to try to conflate it with somebody's reality. I'm the real spirit. I'm the one that's really tired of shit. I'm the one that should be motherfucking preaching. You can't even get past the motherfucking language I'm using. It's the English language. Who put the meanings and reasonings behind that specific word for it to mean that negative attribute? Nigga, I come from realms of realities that ain't got shit to do with the way this language is used and how it's orchestrated and the meanings and shit. It's a whole different shit. I've been in some realms of realities that ain't had nothing to do with using your motherfucking mouth. Shit. That's 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 fallacy number one, motherfucker. You concerned about the language. So if so if you concerned about the language you using and uh and, and you telling people not to use bitch or this, that, and the third because of what religion in there, I don't think your God is pretty is privy to your your language. So instead of you saying that you're gonna be in Dalmatian for using negative language in Christianity, I think you need to go back and worship the motherfucker from the northern seas who made the motherfucker grammatics from English and English and they made Spanish and all them because that's where the that's where the English language originated from and the, the northern sea tribes. So if, if a certain word holds so much impact on your religion and you telling people not to say it, but that word was created by a bunch of 3D beings, right? Who may have got something to do with creating your religion that you that you think is God, right? That's fallacy number three, motherfucker. <laughs> you see how many fallacies it is? You you y'all conscious ain't even high enough to understand that. You a Christian and you telling people, oh, you using bad words. But the words was made by some beings of the north of the northern seas who who created the grammatics and created the fucking English language for and, and then and then we gave words meanings, right? <laughs> and then you you tie that to God that have nothing to do with just this solar system. It's millions of different solar systems and galaxies with different languages and shit like that. So how can you be so fucking selfish? I mean, so so motherfucking so motherfucking self centered that you think God is all about you. I say bitch, and you a Christian, and and, and how can you be so self centered that you think God gonna cast me in hell? And, and put you somewhere because I use that word that's just a small speck in a whole motherfucking universe. That it might not even mean the same thing where God is at. Motherfucker, rise your dumbass motherfucking consciousness. And, and you know why you can't? And you know why you refuse? Because your ass is in hell. Don't come talking to me about no, oh, you want to you wanna say hell don't exist because you want to continue sinning. What the fuck is a sin? A sin don't even mean what the fuck you think it means. Your ass is sinning by even putting energy into sinning. Because that's it's only on your mind. So you don't even want creating it. So you don't even want to see it. So when you're around somebody who's sinning and you, you pre preaching to them, oh, you better stop sinning or whatever like that, you the only person who, who was aware of it being a sin. So that's something you hold your back, you hold yourself back against. Flight boss, bitch, goddamn air. All Christians is going to hell. <laughs>